Okay, so now in this step, we're going to close uh, the parallelogram uh, change that we have uh, in this robot in order to properly move the gripper base. Uh, so we have actually two chains. Uh, one related with this chain here, as you can see, and another one related with this chain here. So we're going to implement actually two different chains. So let's start with that one. Okay, so uh, indeed uh, that one will be um, link three exactly. So let's this uh, will actually uh, have this is link two. Yeah. So now we, we are going to uh, have uh, remember I mentioned that we have another joint here in order to move this link here. So we have the joint eight. That's it. That will be moved correspondingly with the link to dynamic object and then this bottom uh, right bottom part will be actually moved by the uh, joint 8 so as long as joint 8 it moves will move that one too so this will be child of the dynamic object and then we have here another link so let's try to find it 11 so this will be moved by this uh, join there and then we have the servo base which is that one yeah that's an important one because a lot of objects will depend on on it too so the joint 11 that's it okay so now we have the gripper base and this is one of the directions of the chain and the other direction of the chain is that one. So it's from link two will be close here. Okay. So we actually have link three there. So we only need to add a, a joint. There should be a joint, ah, that one. There should be a joint that needs to be added to, no, no, not here, sorry. Not the beam three, the link dynamic three that one that's it so uh, and now we need to create a dummy let's call it uh, whatever okay and target Okay, and the position for these joints will be uh, indeed uh, that one. I'm oh, sorry, these joints, these dummies. The position for these dummies will be that one. And that one will be exactly, sorry, that one will be exactly in the same position. So now they need to be linked with the constraint uh, dynamics overlap constraint yes and then this one will be part of the joint 14 yeah and the other one will be part of the gripper base which is gripper base that one that's it okay this is one of the chains and the other one will be uh, this chain here so we will have uh, let's we have this chain here and this chain here that will be closed there for instance okay so what we have is uh, from the triangle yes we need to find this axis here uh, that one join 10 so we have from the triangle we have join 10 and then we have to find also another axis ah oh, sorry it was already here yeah the eighth one yeah exactly so we have join 10 let me see where it is there it is and needs to move the right top dynamic object That's it. And then that wall will 
that one will move again another joint that one yeah the nine joint nine that's it that will be connected to the gripper base from here to here yeah actually there and there okay so now we need dummies one for uh let's call it link uh, right up and let's call it this way and let's link them together with the dynamics overlap constraint okay so this one for instance will be moved to uh, here for instance yes and the other one will be moved to join nine that's it okay let me just simply recap okay yeah let me just simply uh, rename this I prefer to have link three it's just a name okay so um, okay so now if we run the simulation we will see that now sorry oh It's because it's just the uh, gripper base. We forgot to put it inside the gripper base. That's it. The rest of things are gripper several crap. Yeah, it was just simply that's it. And as you can see right now, it's moving properly, and the gripper base is horizontal and actually you can see it here it's also working fine okay so 